How are y'all doing, my friends? Usually I do Pokemon Stadium 2 with only rental series right now as we speak. But today I like to go on a topic, take a little break from after defeating the Poke Mon Stadium 2, Poke Cup Ultra Ball. I thought I would like to give everyone a walkthrough how to get through Peak Up Round 2. Now, in case if you're not familiar with, I take on challenges with only rentals without legendaries. My name is Marbita, and I, it's a great pleasure to meet you. Now let's get into action. This is actually far the most unfair tournament than anything I've ever played, because I spent many attempts on this doggone tournament, and it really frustrates, frustrates me so much that I actually cried in my dream, because this was how insane this difficulty is. Which, instead of talking about it, I'll show you why it's just so bogus, in fact. Now, every team and everyone has their own different styles. So here is my own style that I found that was pretty effective in my most common experiences. Yeah, and that's a team. You don't have to use my team, but I'll give you some pointers to help improve your chances that will overcome the obstacles. This one's a straightforward challenge, so let's get into it. It's underway! Pokemon Tournament Pika Cup! This is a tournament for passionate, young, up, and coming Pokemon! Now, most of the time, you can just win this with this ice beam. Okay, we got a good start. Look at the draw to today. Because Lapras hit it critical. There's been major action already. Oh, it's waterproof. Okay, this is gonna be a sweeper here. How will the type difference affect that? What's that? I stand corrected. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was expecting. This game is very hard. Ice Beam! Whoa! Looks like a bad Pokemon choice! Star! It's a one-hit wonder! There's a difference in the number of reserve Pokemon. Oh, it's Spiker! The remaining Pokemon count is 3 to 1. The battle has become one sight. Double edge, no big deal. What now? There, it's a hit! Even Lapras can adore that. Like I said, this is a sweeper in battle one. And there goes the battle! Despite we've got like one critical hit on Lapras, it's most of the time, you don't need to worry about that one. Now here's a trick I've learned about too. Lad has some good variety of Pokemon, so what I would suggest is perhaps to start with Starmie, have Haunter. Haunter's got Thunderbolt, Confuse Ray, Nightshade, including Self Destruct. But I would prefer not to use Self Destruct only if I simply must have to. And we have Cubone, which has a variety of moves, but I'll get to it as we get there. I'm thinking that worked really solid was Gyarados. And Mary Sir as well. What kind of battle can we expect to see? Begin round two. Yes, it's been a while, so I'm trying to get my memories back again. But definitely recommend start with Thunder, with Starmie, if War, War Turtle comes out. Here it comes! Thunder! But we got lucky, so that should easily knock it down. down already. It has Dig 2, so keep in mind. This is a wild one from the word go. 
Which is why I had Gyarados, because it's immune to ground type. Oh, it's This is the most common thing that pops out. The Pokemon are entirely different types. Sue is gonna use Mega Drain, that's why I have Hunter out. The Pokemon returns to its Pokeball. Oh, it's Hunter! What's this? Will this Pokemon swap change the flow of battle? I'm gonna use Confuse Ray, because that's what I would suggest using. The trainer's changing Pokemon. Oh, it's Polygraph! So now Polygraph, so it has a psychic move too. What a confused It's confused! How will the swap Pokemon fight? Now, it's a kind of a choice, so I'm going to do Starmie for safer path. Oh, there's going to be a change of Pokemon. Polygraph has a strength attack. Oh, it's Polygraph! Ah, darn. How will this swap affect the outcome? Okay. You might want to get with using Thunder. What's up? That was great. Uh oh, it's I forgot he had Mega Kick. What a furious battle! So that was more powerful than I remember. Here's a Pokemon. The Starmie and Hunter work really well together. Oh, the attack missed! Will this Pokemon swap change the flow of battle? Hey, with Thunderbolt, it's gone. Why? Thunderbolt! Yeah, we're already sweeping it. Wow! Going down! If we're just down, it's just Tangela. There's a distinct difference in the number of remaining Pokemon. We're down to the last Pokemon. Oh, we gotta use this Nightshade and Confusion. The remaining Pokemon count is 3 to 1. The battle has become one sided. What do I do? It's Confused! Whoa! We're the hat itself! The intense battle continues! Nightshade deals 15 points by level. What's this? Yeah, it's a hit! It shook off its confusion! The attack was okay. connected! Plus five points. Both Pokemon appear equally fit. What's that? There, it's a hit! What now? That was weak. The heated battle rages on. Pretty much. On the after this night shade fallen one, it do? it's down. Even with the critical hit. Oh! There's no way you can get more than 15, even with the critical. What's this? Can't go heat. Yep, so expected. The crowd's excitement is building over this hot battle. Mega Drake can only get 50% of HP picked up. Good hit! Oh! If it's down By like 20 hit points, you're sore 10. And there goes the battle! Yeah, we already got the sec continue already. And believe me, amigos, you're gonna need every continue there is, because this game here at Nintendo and Game Freak Mag is bogus already. Which we'll see as we get to the second half. And that's not a joke either. I'm not even exaggerating. Now here, we're gonna need to use... I would commit with Starmie, Haunter, Gyarados for sure, because I haven't been familiar with this one. The upcoming battles look promising. We're in for the this is where three. Battle 3 gets pretty tough. Now, 
Slowbro has an Earthquake, which is pretty devastating. So you can either have a commitment to use Gyarados, but I'm going to take a risk. Since Skarmy's out here. And sometimes you're going to miss my RNG. What will the trainer do now? No! Fireworks are flying in this battle! Yeah, that earthquake deals 17 points, which is quite powerful. What's this? This is not the effective! Dropped out of 24, which is not too bad. What's that? There, it's a hit! And then protecting Starmie, I'm gonna go to. Gyarados. And he's got strength, as I do remember. The trainer changing That's where Haunter will be play here. Oh, it's Gyarados! What will it do? Oh, the attack bit! Will this Pokemon swap change the flow of battle? So instead of wasting strength, it's a revolving door of Pokemon! We're gonna conserve Gyarados' strength for letting Haunter oh, take care of it. What now? Oh, that's a bit. How will the swap Pokemon... And all I do is finish off with Thunderbolt, and that's Sweeper. What's this? Out. So we got one of two Thunders. Contact. Slow bro. Oh, it's Dugong! And we got Dugong. How will the type difference affect that? I'm gonna use Thunderbolt since we're here. What's that? Oh, this Pokemon looks strong. But Dugong's got Ice Beam and memory serves well. Yep, that's a strong move too. Hunter can withstand one hit, as long as it's not critical. The intense battle continues! But the following Thunderbolt might be enough. What do it do? It's got the effect! Yep. Oh, it's down! There's a difference in the number of reserved Pokemon. Oh, it's Zebra! All right, this one we might lose the. The remaining Pokemon count is three to one. The battle has become. Well, actually not. Pokemon we have Gyarados. To its Pokeball. What now? That was weak. We drop about eleven. Will this Pokemon swap change the flow of battle? Cedra has. So, oh, that's right. Special What's stronger this? in this generation one. And like it's not generation effect. two, its special defense is lower. What's that? It didn't do much. Yeah, its special is higher. Both Pokemon look ready for more. So the better option is use bite. What will it do? What now? A decent hit! Yeah, so I think you take 10 points, so. Sparks are flying in this heated match! Hydromel's more riskier, but bite what feels this? 10. That was weak. It's taking a quick rest. What a furious battle! Now, in this game, he wakes up in two turns. What's that? It's not very effective. It's fast asleep! The crowd's excitement is building over this hot battle! What'll it do? It's in too much damage! Pokemon appear equally fit. I'm gonna commit using Hydro Pump. What now? The 
Objective. Barely enough HP for during the critical. What's this? That was weak. We need another hydro the pump. But we need continue. a rest for safety. What's that? It's not very effective. It's taking a quick rest. Fireworks are flying in this battle. Now all we gotta do is buy it twice to get a third continue. What'll it do? It did too much damage. It's fast asleep. Neither one is succeeding an inch. What now? The attack wasn't effective. Could be random in Battle 4. This is where it really goes up, up in a higher notch. So here's what we're going to do against Burglar. We're going to need Starmie, have Gyarados, and have Lapras for this situation. This is a luck based game. The crowd's excitement is building. This is round 4. Alright, Tentacruel has Toxic, so you substitute. It created a substitute! Oh, Toxic! The move failed to glitch! The crowd's excitement is building over this hot Now track. I just have to hope for good luck. There it goes! Missed but unfortunately, we didn't get lucky enough. What's this? Neither one is succeeding an inch. That's okay. Just keep trying. It created a substitute. What now? The move fails. The intense battle continues. As you can see, substitutes are... Oh, there's going to be a change of Pokemon. Don't have any problems oh, when it comes to... Toxic. And this is where we have What's a that? problem here. Oh, Doug Trio is really fast and it's got Rock Slide. So we're going to commit using Bubble Beam. So this is where Garros comes to play. But it's not over yet, it's got Rock Slide. The trainer's changing Pokemon. Just strong against Gyarados. Oh, it's Gyarados! What'll it do? Oh, the attack missed! How will this swap affect the But at low HP, once it bite, we might be able to do it. Whoa! In the worst case, we didn't get punched, unfortunately. So besides Tentacruel, who else is there? I have a feeling there's 
opportunity has to make up for lost ground. The Pokemon are entirely different types. I'm gonna let go Gyarados. He's got a Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt. Deadly to Gyarados. From a double super effective. We're waiting for the next Pokemon. Lapras is my best option here. Oh, it's Lapras! How will the type difference affect that? Ice Beam's the strongest move. There's the attack! Even though Lapras is tanky, but it little adds up. Yeah, it still has enough the will to fight. Just enough will to do it. Starry Thunder. The remaining Pokemon stock is two to one. The tenth battle continues. Could we have served that? Right Powerful. Lapras is gone. Yeah, it's a hit. Wow! Go down. If our Thunder fails, then so be it. That's really bad luck Both of a draw. Combatants are down to their last Pokemon. There's just one Pokemon aside now. The battle is coming right down to the one. Whoa! That's the weak spot. Yeah, Tentacle's tanky with that special. We have to use another Thunder. What will it do? It's not very effective. The intense battle continues. We just have enough for one more Thunder. And it worked out in the end. Oh, it's now. And there goes the battle. Yeah, battle four is no joke. He just saw me because I just barely managed to do it. Here's where it gets pretty bogus on Battle 5. He, Tiger's got three nasty Pokemon. Gengar, then there's Executor, and of course, Raticate, all at level 20. So this one's not really much of a win situation here, so it's just all luck of the draw, which I hate this part. So I'm just gonna just put my trusted Raichu have Starmie out. That's good. It's really good against Golduck and Look at Tongue. Sometimes they would have three of the fifth, level 15s, but just don't count it though. You're going to guarantee to have one of the level 20s most of the time. And believe me, it's so far annoying to get past if they're unlucky, especially. So I'm going to do Lapras in case an Executor pops out. During the last half of the tournament, things will get white hot. Begin round five. Now, Lickitung has got Body Slam and Thunderbolt. So, I will use Thunder Wave or Thunder. I'm just doing a safer way to use Thunder Wave for now. Because you just don't know. Get you Thunder Wave! Ice slam anyway. What will the trainer do now? Major yeah, dead. 24 points. That feels quite a bit. Fireworks are flying in this battle. A potential threat on its falling head. It's power 
our lives okay. on the Okay, give me a lucky break. The crowd's excitement is building over this hot battle. Oh, there's going to be a change of Something Pokemon. tells me there's going to be another Pokemon besides that. Oh, it's a second. There we go. Well, it's a 20 of the Zegarar. Formidable. What's up? All right, not bad. I'll take the critical. How will the swap Pokemon fight? Now, in this situation, recommend Thunder Waving it to give me a better bet. What's that? Oh, it's paralyzed. A psychic. His right is gone anyway. And fortunately, critical, I will take. Switching out to somebody else would have been really bad. What Pokemon will be fighting next? That's why I had Lapras, in case of that were to happen. Oh, it's Lapras! But even with the best choices, the Archie can still beat you. This is a battle between obviously mismatched Pokemon. What's this? It's got the effect. Right, it's very well tanky, so we may not be able to win this time. Hey, our luck goes. Attack. Lavers will be able to endure, fortunately. And if one more ice beam with a good clutch hit, we win. I'm get the executive arm. What will it do? No, it just will to beat me anyway. You was Starmie. There's a distinct difference in the number of remaining Pokemon. You can use Bubble Beam, but it's way too sketchy. Oh, it's Starmie! There's only one Pokemon against three. The battle has become I really hate side. to have to use it, but we have to use Sideways. They're in garbage, but better than nothing. If you Sideways! And it worked out good. Psyweek has a 20% miss rate, by the way. What will the next Pokemon be? Which is why I hardly ever use it. Oh, it's the mod. That's why I'm starving for a reason. It's one Pokemon against two now. Thunder Wave, but you know what I'm doing. Substitute. It's created a substitute. What now? The move there! The crowd's excitement is building over this hot battle! I'm gonna do a safer. I'm gonna do a bubble beam. Right, fighting poses. Let's see how much it deals first. What's that? Me hit that. So it draws about how much it deals. Like 10, 15 points. What's this? Yes, yeah, substitute's a best friend in this game here. It created a substitute. One would do. That's why I recommend Starmie in this battle here. I can use Thunder, but not worth the gamble. One now. There, it's a hit. What's that? And endures it because of the matching element. As you can see, amigos, we've got the winning chance. We're down to one Pokemon aside. Because we got luck with the side wave, it changed everything. We're down to the last Pokemon. There's just one Pokemon aside now. The battle is coming right down to the one. A decent hit. And even if it survives, it's done. It's paralyzed on the spot. Neither one is conceded. Because Starmie would have survived from the substitute and knocked out anyone to fall in Ball Beam. Savage attack. Now 
Now this time I mean, it was, I got very lucky that I got past. So if you have trouble with Battle 5, don't give up. At least that is definitely considering my best suggestion. Why choose Starmie and Lapras are my personal best ones, as I've learned from my experiences. So if you try to go for it, I wish you luck. Here's where it gets really annoying. Mr. Fix, another big spike. So I'm gonna recommend, this is why you ask me, I'm sure you say, Smart Band, why do you have Needle King for this fight? This is where Needle King comes huge to this part of this situation, because I actually gotta continue here, believe it or not. So strongly recommend, perhaps use, let's see, Raichu is pretty good, so I would definitely use Raichu. But, but the problem is, Hunter is clutch, so I think the best choices are Gyarados, Hunter, and Needle King, if things work out well. So Neo King, I definitely would start or use Raichu. Let me try to think. I'm trying to remember what last time I did it. I'll come in with Neo King, have Hunter, and then use Gyarados. This one's pretty bogus, actually, in my opinion. Most unfair. Field is spinning out. We're into round six. And here's Muck. I think Mary serves me well. Muck use Explosion. Or Fire Blast. Oh, with a rough Pokemon change. Oh, with Hunter! The other trainer also changes Pokemon. Oh, with Rapper! And that was a good reason I used Haunter, because it's a Thunderbolt. They're both being caught. So I'm just gonna just go for it with That's using Thunderbolt. What's this? Whoa! Looks like a bad Pokemon choice! No, it is! Listen! Well, that well. There's no fighting back while you're close. I'm just gonna send Gyarados and just try to hope for the best. Sometimes the RNG can get really wild on you. This time I got very pretty luck. What now? It did too much damage. How will the swap Pokemon fight? Pretty much use bite in this situation. Cup round two is no joke. Once you get bad Number RNG, like at any eight. given time, you're just you're sunk pretty much. I don't know what to say. You really are. What the when, when your Pokemon's frozen, it never melts. Double hit. That's a good hit. Wow! Going down. What Pokemon will be fighting right. next? I can only hope Needle King can get past Lapras, or done. Here's a Pokemon. How will the type difference affect that? Our only hope is use Earthquake, which is the strongest move. And if it fails, then we lose. What's this? There, it's a hit. That's what I was afraid of. Yep, we lost it because of just one bogus RNG. Savage attack. Oh my gosh, are you for real? That would have KO'd my Neo King. What the heck? That was very lucky. I just don't know what to say. What will the next Pokemon be? So, Muck and. Yeah, so I know Muck's gonna use Explosion without question. We're 
evenly matched Which is why I had Haunt around Another in the first Pokemon place. Is backing down. The Pokemon returns to its Pokeball. It's in no condition to fight. A oh, <laughs> the Frozen statue. <laughs> no, Beat a muck. There's only one Pokemon left in reserve. Which is totally out of luck. Oh, it's a match. The remaining Pokemon stock is two to one. The tenth battle. Yeah, go ahead. Frozen statue can't do anything anyway. Brilliant flash! It didn't work. It's frozen rock salt! The crowd's excitement is building over this hot battle! Thank you. Oh, wonderful. Good hit. And it's down. That frozen statue ghost saved us today. We're down to one Pokemon aside. We're down to the last Pokemon. There's just one Pokemon aside now. The battle is coming right down. You can't to use the explosion one. for last Pokemon. Do do? Yeah, Earthquake has a good accuracy, so once it hits, it's done. How's that? And clutch it. Wow! Take it down with one hit! So yeah, amigos. That's a good example that RNG and there goes the battle. ruins everything because that. Blizzard missed me, he could have won, in fact, on that Mr. Fix. But because it did miss with the Blizzard, it gave me the upper hand to win. So don't give up, amigos, no matter what happens. Now here's a but, in my personal opinion. Last is the worst here. What I would start is Starmie because of Thunder against Gyarados and Cloyster, but the Cloyster's got Explosion. So, I strongly suggest Starmie, not Raichu, because Gyarados is way too powerful. Haunter for Thunder, and of course Gyarados against the other members. So this here is really a bogus, kind of a bad team, because it's kind of rigged, based on RNG. This is it, the semi-final! No one wants to lose having come this far. Yes, pretty much. It's pretty rigged. Once you miss Thunder, you can't recover very well. So you have to hope to get Thunder on this situation. You always use Dragon Rage every time. Whoa! The bear hit. Which is very destructive. It deals 40 hit points. Seven Whoa, looks like a bad Pokemon Look how tank that guy is. He can't even one shot it. So it's better to give up Starmie here. It would have been a critical on the other members. Oh, Which Pokemon is coming out? And all you gotta do is use Haunter to use Thunderbolt. Oh, it's Haunter! This is a battle between obviously mismatched Pokémon. Wow! Hey, you're dead! Wow, Thunderbolt! Yes, yes. That's why I use Haunter instead of Gengar. Because of that Thunderbolt ability. We're waiting for the next Pokemon. So, depending on what Lass has chosen, we might not win this one. Oh, it's Clefable! Okay, Clefable's dangerous because of the Thunderbolt it has. The Pokemon are so entirely use different Confuse Ray to protect Gyarados from any potential threat. What a Confuse It's Confuse! So, if you don't get lucky, so be it. Whoa! Hot dip but we got lucky. There's a big difference. So I can use Thunderbolt now or Nightshade. Yeah, it's hard to say, though. 
I'm just gonna use self-destruct. Since Conquer can't win anyhow. I'll save the confusion. There's only one Pokemon left in reserve. Now all we gotta do is use Hydro Pump and we might be able to knock it down. Oh, it's Garrett! One Pokemon against two now. We got one try though. The test battle continues. Hydro Pump! Oh, oh well. Darn it. it. Uh oh, it's good. Not yet, actually. Fireworks are flying in this battle. Can I finish off with Bite? With that below each hit points? Or no? It's Bite! No, oh, darn it! I should have known to use Hydro Pump. That was my mistake. There it goes. Now, that's an hit. I should have stick with Hydro Pump. So that was my fault there. And there goes the battle. It better not be right on, or I just would be ashamed of myself. Darn it! If I had hit with Hydro Pump right there, we probably would have won that. Darn it. But I learned my lesson from that. So don't repeat what I just did there with Bite. So always use Hydro Pump against Clefable. This is it, the semi final! No one wants to lose having come this far. Okay, here comes Cloyster, so get ready for the explosion. Starmie, Haunter, and Gyarados are the big right top door. ones here. Oh, Good option or confuse, so I'm just gonna use Thunderbolt. Since both options are risky, confuse ray or Thunderbolt. What's this? Whoa! Look at the bad Pokemon choice. Both Pokemon have taken heavy damage. I have to let Hunter go. Starmie's our only hope. We have. We have to hope to get a thunder. Here's a Pokemon. We're evenly matched and two Pokemon aside. Neither Pokemon is back. And being desperate back. with Thunder too. Here it comes! Thunder! Oh, this Pokemon looks wrong! Oh man! Forgot about that. That's pretty strong. There's only one Pokemon left in reserve. Oh, it's Garada. I doubt we're gonna beat this thing. It's one Pokemon against two now. The tenth. I should have used Confuse be... Ray and then use Barbell. Yeah, bad chance of beating that. Yep, I suspected last was a butt here. I mean, look at this. How do you find this fun? It's just... It's just bogus. This is it, the semi-final! Having come this far, 
Now it's not worth actually gambling when you're switching out another Pokemon, but I would have got Hunter to do it here. But it's too sketchy. So I'm just better off just letting Sarmie faint and let Hunter take the lead. Can strategy overcome the level disadvantage? Because Gyarados is just way too powerful. Or Clefable, but a two likely chances. Oh, it's Clefable! Yeah, of course, that'd be a Clefable. This is where it gets really challenging right here. The Pokemon are entirely different types. No luck at all, that's over, pretty much. Watch out, confused, It's confused! A psychic flag! Well, that's all Hunter can do from here. There's only one Pokemon left in reserve. We have to simply hope that Hydro Pump can hit it. Oh, it's got it! And Clefable fail in the RNG. It's one Pokemon against two now. The tenth battle. Any is miss the... or any unfortunate, that's it. There it goes! Major dead! Nope, we're just unfortunate. Oh man, that's so close. I thought Garrows would faint there normally. And will we fail anyway? Not this time. But if it's Jinx, we would just quit. It's not worth it. We're down to one Pokemon aside. No, hang on. There's still time. There's just one Pokemon aside now. The battle is If he doesn't right miss. Alright! Just in the nick of time. Wow. That was insane. Garrow survived with one hit point. Okay, last but not least, at least it's a good way to wrap up the Guidance Amigos. This is where it becomes the most unfair RNG of this whole game itself. That's right, the infamous Alakazam, level 20. Alakazam's got uh, Thunder Wave, Psychic, Seismic Toss, but I can't remember anything else. But that's where I truly know. That is definitely the worst Pokemon of the team. The only way to possibly do it is to either hope for Dragon Air to be picked out of one of out of that possibility, or simply hope to freeze it or paralyze it, which are not really great chances. So yes. Truly, I say this is the most unfair rigged team that anything Nintendo and Game Freak has ever made. So I strongly suggest we're going to use Gyarados. In case you get lucky with the Dragonair, definitely Lapras and Raichu. This is it, the final battle! Who will pass in the glory of the championship? Okay, he started using Machamp. So we better be ready for anything. He's got either Dragonair or something else. It's a Starmie. And it's a Thunderbolt, too. What it didn't do much damage. 
Orcs are flying in this battle. Now Starmie has Surf. Here's a Pokemon trick. Ice Beam. Thunderbolt. Oh, right. I'm trying to remember. But it does have Psychic. Only Surf, Ice Beam, Thunderbolt. And what's it? What's that? No, Psychic. I never oh, remember. Ah, no. Will this Pokemon swap change? And Thunder Wave, that's it. Battle? It's got Thunder Wave, Ice Beam, Surf, and as I say, Ice Beam, Surf, and Thunderbolt. And Thunder Wave. Those are the moves it has. For sure. They're staring each other I'm down. very positive about. So I recommend using Thunder Wave. What now? If very lucky, Raichu should survive. Just barely him out though. Thunderwave! Oops, it's paralyzed! What a fury! I'm gonna quit using Thunderwave. There's a chance it's gonna switch. They go into battle poses. Yep, I remembered. The Pokemon returns it to always Pokemon. does that. Oh, it's Alakazam! Ooh, Here is the worst piece. Alakazam itself. What's this? Oops, it's paralyzed! How will the Swap Pokemon fight? We're gonna use Thunder. We're gonna gamble oh, everything. So what do we have to lose? Oh my gosh! A psychic blast! Yeah, it's a hit! Oh, it's now! We got Crick with Thunder. We're waiting for the next Pokemon. Yes, we're gonna commit using Gyarados. They strike fighting poses. Here's a Pokemon trick. The Pokemon are entirely different types. We're gonna use a bite move. What will it do? There, it's a hit. What's that? Special fan is back. The crowd's excitement is building over this hot battle. What now? A decent hit. Yeah, look how busted this Alkazam is. That's a good hit. Oh, it was down and out. There's just no way to beat him. There's a difference in the number of reserved Pokemon. You have to get very lucky to beat Alkazam. Oh, it's Lapa! There's only one Pokemon against three. The battle has become one-sided. And because it's so fast and so powerful, it's critical gives it a benefit. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, against Alakazam and Starmie, it's almost impossible. Which Pokemon no, in is fact, coming out? You can't win. That's how rigged it is. Here's a Pokemon trick. It's one Pokemon against two now. The combatants are making sparks fly. Low kick and flinch. Big quick attack. It's doubly effective. Yeah, we were gonna quit. That's how simple it is. Even with the though I defeated Alkazam, it's too powerful. So once you get Alkazam, you just can't do it unless you get very clutch luck involved, like I got here. If if Alkazam at least got paralyzed like at all. And got critical with Thunder like many times. That's the only possible way to do it. But unfortunately, I hate to be the anticlimax, but there's no way you can beat the team with Alakazam. I just don't see any way it's possible. There's just no solution with rentals. So all that's pretty much all you can do. You just have to basically hope for Dragonair because that's really how bogus that is. I think Nintendo kind of ruined that challenge because that's not fun.
Well, we're not gonna win anyway, so. This is it, the final battle. I don't see any point of trying anyhow. Glory of the championship. Let's see. I'm gonna use Haunter because it might somehow. Changing Pokemon. Oh, sorry. That Pokemon must not have been the right choice. Oh, Haunter! The other trainer also changes Pokemon. Oh, it's not! It's what expected. They're both being cautious here. It's only used Star Waving. Can't you Thunder Wave? Oops, it's paralyzed. All right, it's of course. Paralyzed on the spot. That was expected. The crowd's excitement is building over this hot battle. Ah! Surf deals a lot with Sarmi. What's this? I won't complain then. That was lucky. What will the next Pokemon be? Oh, it's Alex. There's a big dude here. Ooh, this one looks formidable. Yeah, go ahead. Knock out How will that the difference Haunter. Like the heck of it. Because what's the point? A psychic flag! Wow! Major death! What Pokemon will be fighting next? Okay, this is really pretty much it. If we don't freeze it, we're just done. Oh, it's Rotom! The Pokemon are entirely different types. So no promises here. What now? Major death! And even if these two survive, you only get one try. And that's all you get. What will it do? Yep, it's so expected. Look at that. That's so messed up. Fireworks are flying in this battle. That's only 10% chance, which is so bogus. Savage attack. Oh! Oh! Is it down and out? There's only one Pokemon left in reserve. So pretty much, once we get critical with Gyarados, we're down to the last. That's game. game. That's really it. It's one Pokemon against two now. The tense battle continues. There's the attack. <laughs> yep, we're gonna forfeit. I mean, look at that, bogus. There it goes. There, it's a hit. What a furious battle! Well, that wraps up the... What I wanted to say. Pika Round 2 is truly unfair because of that reason. It took me many tries, as I did in the past. And I was happy to actually do it with the Dragonair. So that was really satisfying when you get past. So I'm happy never to play that again. Because it's just not fun, in fact, of that peak up round two. So, if you ever try to do this challenge, amigos, I hope you best of luck. I hope you find this video very helpful of this guide that will help improve your chances. But it was really entertaining. There were some pretty epic moments, and it's very rare to defeat Alakazam, which is really satisfying, at least. So, at least that's worth my time to at least discuss this. Truly, a video, why is Pokemon Stadium 2 pick up round 2 is unfair. I hope you have a great rest of your day, amigos, and I hope you wish me luck for the Peak Cup Master Ball. Excuse me, what am I saying? Poke Cup Master Ball round... Ah, never mind what I'm saying. Let's just end the video. <laughs> Take care, and as the way go. And I'll see you in the series of Pokemon Stadium 2 with rentals only.